Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna for those of you that are new. So today, well tonight now, I am filming my nighttime routine. So we're gonna just go over what I use for skincare, what I do on a typical night. I kind of wanted to use some new products in this. I actually worked out in the morning and body showered, but then I put on just a little bit of makeup because I filmed an updated jewelry collection and I'm doing a shopping haul part three, so I was filming for that. And I wanna take another body shower because I'm just so crazy and I feel like whenever I have makeup on, I just wanna take another body shower. I don't know. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and follow me on Instagram. The link is always down in the description below. I will link everything that I'm using down below for you guys. I'm like hunched over because guys, Soon, it won't be an issue, but it's been an issue to find a place to film, but I have something in the works that I'm not gonna know for sure until January, 2021. So hopefully I'll have a new setup to film and more space for just me because I'm sharing this house with my entire family because of COVID, so we'll see. But anyway, I'm sidetracking as always. This is Green Clean from Pharmacy Makeup Melts Away Cleansing Balm. And I figured it would be perfect to try with you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hair up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh, I also went for a walk. I did my workout today and then I like to always go for a long walk. So I did the walk after I showered because I didn't think I was gonna have time to walk, but I did. I need to fix this bun because I can't even look at myself. It's every night I take a body shower. Look at this bun. Oh my God, what am I? Who am I? I've never done a button like this, so I can't look at myself and take myself seriously. We're gonna have to do it again. Okay, so actually I just clipped my hair back because sometimes my bun falls and it just gets messy. But let's use this and take off my makeup. I really don't know how much, like how to even use this. Am I supposed to put this over like on dry skin? Yeah. Oh, this is for eye makeup removal. Whatever. Never mind. It says massage into skin and eyes as well. So we're doing the whole thing. Let's test this baby out. But it's actually working. It's kind of cool. I just don't really... Oh, it smells amazing. I just feel like I'm more of a cleanser, easy, get it done, take it off kind of vibe, you know? But let's see. It says to remove with a warm towel, but I might just like rinse my face. Let's see how it works on the eyes because anything that removes mascara without having that residue. This is my makeup look. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on this look. Oh my God. It's nice that it doesn't burn. Okay, so it worked decent. Like it definitely takes off your makeup, but my eyes are like super blurry right now. And I'm just the type of person to cleanse my face. Like, yeah. It's just like a messy concept, I think. Whereas I feel like my concealer does the, uh, not my concealer, my cleanser does the trick already. So let's cleanse my face now. I mean, that melting balm really smells amazing and it does work well. So I'm going in with my Laneige. I mean, it did work well. My Laneige Multi Deep Clean Cleanser. I mean, you see my mascara still and I am losing my eyesight by the second. So I'm just gonna take that much and work this into my face. And now let's rinse. I look so funny. I always clean my neck as well, of course. Okay, so cleanse my face, feeling super clean. I just look a little red over here from the wiping. Usually I'm more gentle. Um, yeah, the cleansing balm, it did work great. I just feel like I'm the type of person to just use a cleanser and be done because my cleanser does a really good job taking off my makeup. But the thing is, is when I'm taking off my makeup, I need to cleanse my face after. So sometimes I'll literally use like Dove soap, the bar soap, take off my makeup, then use my cleanser. But we're gonna exfoliate tonight. Usually I exfoliate on Thursdays, but I forgot last night and it's Monday night, like I said. So we're gonna exfoliate. I use the Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Peeling Mousse. It's amazing. You're gonna notice, I, okay, so I'm the type of person to think less is more. I really don't do masks. I mean, tonight I wanna try out a few products just to do it. I use very hydrating products, just like very basic, nothing 
that's gonna overwork my skin or strip my skin and nothing that like is gonna give me pores or anything you know i'm not overdoing it i feel like a lot of people overdo it with the skincare because they can get so caught up into it but my skin for the most part it's normal to dry not even really dry i feel like it's just normal and i don't like i don't know it's pretty smooth i don't really have pores I mean, I have pores, but they're not like big. Like, I feel like you can't even see them. And I don't really get breakouts. I mean, around that time of month, I'll get like a pimple, you know, a nice big pimple. But we're gonna exfoliate just to clean my skin even more. You have to, in order to use this peeling mousse, it says also always do whatever you do to your face, you do to your neck. So this product, it says to use like damp hands and like a dry face so you can get that peeling effect of your skin like removing that dead skin because I've used this product when I was in the shower and it did not work the way it does when my face is like dry and my hands are like damp you know so you can see like it's amazing it literally peels off my face feels so smooth after this is not my typical skin routine because I exfoliate once a week with this and I bought this clay mask I'll show you guys for the first time ever. I'm going to use it tonight for the sake of the video and see if I like it or if I should return it. And now I'm just going to rinse this with warm water. Okay, so I finished exfoliating. My face feels super, super smooth. I love it. Um, I did it for like a minute, just worked it into my skin. So I recently went to Sephora and I was basically like asking the girl who was helping me, who worked there. I was like, I told her my whole skincare routine and I was like, are any of those products gonna give me pores or do anything? Cause I know a lot of people, like, I feel like my skin always looked the best when I literally just put on moisturizer and cleanse my face, you know? And you'll see like the products I do use, but she was like, no, you're, you're using great products. And then she recommended this clay mask. It's a pore clearing clay mask. And I, she was like, you don't really have any pores, but this can't hurt and I want you to test it out. She loved it, it's $15. I'll link it down below for you guys. And this is the brand Innisfree or something? I don't know, Innisfree. And she was like, I love it, I swear by it. Like anyone who even doesn't have pores uses it. It's just a really nice thing that clears out your pores. A really nice mask, clay mask, that clears out your pores and you'll love it. So I'm gonna try it and if I don't like it, I'll return it. So I wanted to try it. Yeah, it's a multi-action rinse off clay mask. And also I usually like do my cleanser and all that in the shower, but I wanted to show you guys for the video. So I'm gonna hop in the body shower after this mask, but I'm gonna put it on to a dry face, avoiding the eye and lip area, and then gently massage with fingertips while rinsing off with lukewarm water after 10 minutes. Use one to two times per week. Okay, let's give this a try. So, I mean, I don't have like one of those fancy brushes. I feel like every time I watch videos of people doing this, they, it looks so aesthetically pleasing because they use a brush and here I am just painting it on my face. I mean, I feel like I should just put this around my cheeks, my nose. I feel like that's where I really have the pores is like nose area, you know? been 10 minutes my face feels so tight right now so i'm super excited to rinse this off with lukewarm water okay i rinsed it off i tied my hair back too is it crazy that that was my first time using a clay mask because i feel like everyone does that it feels like it worked because it, my skin felt super tight and i feel like my pores i don't know are they supposed to look smaller because i feel like around my cheek I can't even see cheeks I can't even see them anymore and like I faintly saw them like I had a little, like hardly any I don't know maybe someone who like struggles with pores this is definitely more for them where they could see like the results but maybe it was working but I can't really see it and it just like cleared them or cleaned them out I don't know let me know down in the comments below if you guys know more about clay masks because that was the first time I used it, but my face feels like dry now. So I'm gonna body shower and then we'll finish up skincare. I actually have an update because I feel like I have a lot of like 
blackheads on my nose when I look up really close. I feel like everyone does. And that looks way better. So yeah, I am seeing, I don't know. Is it in my head? I don't know. Who knows? Okay, just took a nice hot body shower. I didn't wash my hair because I washed it yesterday and I like to wash it every other day. My hair lasts longer than every other day. I'm just like, I like my hair to smell like shampoo. And if I like haven't been outside, then maybe I'll go longer than a day. But if I've been like working out or doing things outside, I like to wash my hair because like, I don't know, dirt and all that stuff is in your hair. Usually when I exfoliate, I like to use the Summer Fridays jet lag mask for hydration, but I'm gonna do my full skincare routine on like what I do every night because I'll just use the jet lag mask tomorrow. I like to use it once a week. I also recently got the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask from Youth to the People. There's vitamin C in it and all that good stuff. So I'm, I want to test this out, but not for the video. Maybe I'll do it like a different video because I will insert the picture here. It might be my thumbnail. It might not be. Who knows? But I have gotten so many questions like DMs from people on this picture saying like, what do you have on your face? What makeup are you using? And fun fact, I actually am not wearing a stitch of makeup in this picture. One, because I was super tan since I was on vacation. I wasn't even wearing eye makeup or anything. I literally just curled my lashes, which I will show you why my lashes grew so much. I'm just going to do the skincare routine that I did. And it showed in that picture. And it, I looked so hydrated and glowy and luminous. So it's super beautiful, especially on a tan or like when I put tanning drops in. I usually use the Tan Lux face tanning drops. I'm not going to put them in tonight just because I feel like I've done so much to my face and it's only Monday. I'll probably use them for Wednesday because I'm going to my boyfriend's on Thursday. So I want like a little tan, but first for the weekend, but first I'm going to use the philosophy purity made simple essence. It's like with coconut water, the toner and this toner. It's so easy. You don't need little cotton pads. You just put a little on your hands, rub the product, work it in and just push it into your skin. Just from this, I feel so hydrated, it's insane. And whatever I do to the face, I do to my neck. Ugh, I needed that because I feel like I did so much to my face, I feel like I should have just done it after the shower because I gave my skin a breather from products for a little bit. And I wanted to like, in case there was like any clay mask left over my hair, I like kind of scrubbed it out a little bit on um, like the hairline. It's a little wet, not really. So that is the toner I use. And then I'll go in with the Olay Henriksen. I hope I'm saying it right. The Banana Bright Eye Cream. And this, I just like something that feels hydrating under the eyes. I use my ring finger and very little product goes a long way. I put a little on my eyelid. I'm being very gentle. It might not look like I am, but I'm like lightly dabbing it in and like moving side by side. I'm actually looking to change up my eye cream. Um, I will insert a picture right here of the eye cream I was recommended by the girl at Sephora. She said it's super hydrating and it's gonna brighten my under eyes more. She said she wasn't a big fan of this one, but it really hasn't done much. It just, I like putting it on. It feels like it looks so much better. In the picture I used the uh, banana eye cream brightened my under eyes, so I didn't need concealer. Also, I was super tan in that picture, so that helps. And also there's an edit over it, but the edit doesn't give like any luminous effect at all. The edit was like just making me tanner, to be honest. So then I'm using the Renewed Hope in a Jar Philosophy Renewing Dew Concentrate for Hydration, Glow, and Lines Serum. So it's not like a legit serum, but it's just super, it is a serum, but it's just super hydrating. So I just put a little on my hands and push it into my skin. This is the glow that I got in the picture. And you're not going to see the glow right now because one, I'm not outside. Two, it's nighttime, not daytime. And we're not in natural light. And I also don't have a tan. And then this is why my lashes look so long in that picture because all I do is curl them. I use the Babe Lash Essential Serum. And what I do with this is just put it on my top and lower lash line. Just one little swipe. You don't need to re-dip it in. 
this has lasted me since January because I don't use it every night now since I'm happy with the length of them. I'm just like keeping it up. So I'll use it like a few times a week. And then after that, I go in with my Laneige or Laneige, I don't even know what it's called, Water Bank Moisture Cream. Just use a dime size piece, put it all over and on the neck as well. Now, everything I'm using has a lot of water-based products, just very hydrating. It's not gonna overdo it to my face, you know, I'm not doing too much. So I literally just brush them, even though it's my night routine. I don't brush them for night, I just like use my fingers to like comb through them. But I will brush them like during the day, I'll do this. I do this morning and night, depending on how I feel. You can kind of see the glowiness in here a little bit better in the lighting, you see. The lighting was super bad in the bathroom, but it's even better, especially during summertime when you have that tan, it literally, you just look like you're glistening. It's insane. I love that serum, the hydrating one from Philosophy. Also, this is a 40 ounce bottle that does the same exact thing as a Hydro Flask, but it's not a Hydro Flask from Amazon. I got it for like $20, I'll link it below, and it's 40 ounces. So I think I'm on like my fifth one of these. I drink so much water. I forgot like m the most important part because it's not in the bathroom. It's literally by my nightstand. I love the Laneige lip sleeping mask, but nothing compares to my cocoa butter. I'm not in the mood for like a sticky glossy feel right now. So cocoa butter on the lips it is. And I feel so much better. Oh my God. I needed that like right away. It's insane. I'll show you guys what I'm sleeping in tonight, which is probably going to change because I feel like I'm so cold and then when I'm ready to go to bed, I get so hot. <laughs> but this is the Set Active sweatshirt in the color Sky Blue. And I have the matching joggers, but it's way too hot right now to be in that. So I'm just wearing little shorts, my Ugg slippers. Those are my workout shoes that I don't even like at all, but I need the Asics to work out in. And this is what I'm sleeping in and it'll probably change into a t-shirt because right now I'm cold. But after I have my tea, I'm going to be sweating. nighttime routine I guess it is I already changed my shirt because I was too hot in the sweatshirt I'm wearing my blue light glasses from Felix Grey I absolutely love them and I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos and fill out my daily actions for tomorrow so I'm actually a part of like the maxi mindset program I'm sure you guys know or heard of Arlen Moore he's a youtuber he started maxi and it's like mindset design so I fill out my daily actions and we have live calls with Arlen twice a week so it's been super helpful I've been slowly trying to get into meditation so I'm gonna gonna fill out my daily actions, listen to my master vision. You guys are probably not gonna understand that, but it's just a bunch of like affirmations. I'm gonna meditate for like five minutes. So I was so fixed on like, okay, meditation, I need to block out 30 minutes of a day in the morning and 30 minutes at night to meditate and watch a video. But no, actually you don't even need to watch a video to meditate. Meditation could be your own thing. So for five minutes, if you just focus on your breathing and your eyes are shut or you're just focusing on stillness or anything, and you, just for five minutes, you're breathing and you're relaxed, that's your own version of meditation. So I've been doing that. I'm, I've been trying to do that morning and night. So I'm gonna do it tonight, wind down, prepare for tomorrow. And yeah, I'm just gonna end off the video here. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.